Hello everybody and welcome back to the Minecraft server. What is this dark creepy place? Do you know? Do you have any idea where we are? I'll give you a hint. I'll give you a better hint. There we go. That should give it away. Uh, we are at Goods. We're at Goods basement or I don't know what he calls this place. Um, Good. he's off on his, uh, like, walkabout journey. He's off looking for new chunks or something, finding himself. And he took off in such a hurry. He was so excited. When he left, he didn't lock his door or anything. He just took off. Gone. And I'm worried some of the other guys are going to come here and, like, start going through his stuff and, and snooping and... You know, using his stuff, I'm sure Good wouldn't want that. So, uh, I decided I'd come here and do some house sitting. <laughs> the place. Do some house sitting for the guy uh, while he's away. Make sure, make sure people don't mess anything up. And, uh,. He's confused. Don't worry about him. He's still trying to find himself. But yeah, he's got this amazing reed farm. And with 1.3 out, I want to get some paper. <laughs> oh, the poor guy. So you just stand here. It's a pretty cool reed farm. How much is this going to give me? Got one stack already. Yeah, I want to get some paper, do some trading. We might go check out his village. Oh. I was expecting a little more. <laughs> Dang. That's alright. I guess it's only one, two, three, four, five, six. About 12 rows. Still not bad. Probably shouldn't have done that again. Alright, well, I just need a couple stacks anyway to uh, plant some of my own. And uh, I, I'm still going to go check out his village, but I might head back and just plant a bunch of this stuff and make my own paper. Oh, raining again on the Minecraft server. Who would have thought? Um, yeah, I've been planting some reeds, but you know what, I'm, I'm going to make a proper farm for them, I think. I've just been putting them on the outside of my islands. Uh, there's a big island over here that I think I'm going to level out, and instead of doing like I have in my LP world, I'm just going to do a straight reed farm, though, so I can run through and hit them that way. Uh, it's less efficient for the space, but... It uh, should be easier to harvest them, I think. So what I'll do, I'm going to get the TNT. Oh, yeah. And we're going to level this all the way down here. I'm going to run the reeds this way. This is actually really far. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to do the whole island, it seems. It's, uh, it's pretty big. But... Like, I mean, I'm not going to go that way too much, I don't think. I'm just going to go straight all the way down this part of the island. I'm um, going to cut down these trees and then TNT the place up and have some fun.
Uh, we did good here. Yes, we did. Uh, we are all ready for demolition. TNT's in place. All the trees are gone. Look how much different it looks without trees. So we're just doing a small section of the island for now. Uh, it's as I think it's only uh, about 100 TNT. I think 104 exactly. Oh. Did I miss a whole bunch? I did. What? How did that happen? Oh well. So yeah, it goes up to here, I guess. Um, let's set it off. <laughs> Why not? Okay, so I made some levers. Sun is just about to set. Got some chests on me, just in case we get a bunch of material from it. I'm pretty sure a lot of it will blow up, though. It's actually, I think it's after doing this, just using a shovel is quicker. <laughs> it really is. Uh, but we're doing this for fun. So there's a good chance the chain won't work because I spaced them a lot. Like these are, these are six blocks apart here. Uh, but going this way, they're only five. So this way should work for the most part. Uh, I'm not sure how these are going to work though. And that was a miss. All right, guys. Enjoy. Oh, got that chain at least. All right, we got two chains going. Uh, quite a bit of blocks on the ground. I'm surprised. Oh yeah. Oh, and it started the other chain. Good. And start the next chain. Oh man. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty cool. Working out better than I thought. We'll touch the chain. Oh, it did. Wow. Another two chains got caught. <laughs> it's like dominoes. Oh, look at all the blocks, man. I was not expecting this much. Okay, I gotta pick this stuff up. Uh, I do want to keep it if I can. There's still one more chain, I think, but... I'm just gonna run around, pick this stuff up, and we'll finish it off. A little help. Mm-hmm. I guess this one didn't go off because I forgot to put the TNT in it. And that explains things. Excellent. Will it fail? So far, so good. You can see some of the blocks blowing up as it goes. That's the problem with doing chain stuff. You lose blocks. But... It's a lot more fun, <laughs> that's for sure. Okay, so this is 62. We want to be either 62 or 63, so this is about right. Yep. Oh yeah, there's this little bit left. May as well make it go off. Can't put levers on TNT directly, that's too bad. Get out of the way! No! Ah, oh, you're fine. Sweet. That went pretty good. Alright, so let's do an enchantment. We have finally hit level 30. We're gonna do a shovel, and... Ooh, a silk touch. Unbreaking. Mm-hmm, so this is what I am doing. Got water all the way down here. Actually, I'm going to grab... Oh, I have some. Got water all the way down. Going to have several rows, and I want reeds all the way in inside. Then, above the water, we're going to put uh, glowing pumpkins. But I, I don't have too many, so we can't do a whole lot with this today. I think I have three stacks or so. Ah, I knew I was going to have this problem. Now we have no way of putting them down. Nuts! 
<laughs> Darn it. They I hate how they do that. Like you can't place a pumpkin if there's air below, you have to put it on a block. Ah But anyway, we're gonna go all the way down. The uh, pumpkins will help uh the reeds grow during the night and they will also help prevent mobs from spawning. And that's that's a lot of sugar cane for just one row. Lots. Alright, so I wonder if there's any way of doing this without removing the water. Nope. <laughs> Dang. Ooh, that's a lot of pumpkins. Uh, this is how I'm going to have to do it. I put them on the ground first. Now I have to go all along and just remove the blocks. Then put water underneath and put dirt over here. Alright, got the water all in place. We're going to put down the soil. Then the reeds can go right on top. I don't know what it is, but ever since the 1.3... Uh, I have such bad block leg. Like it, it does that flash thing all the time. Especially if I go, if I'm like putting a lot of blocks at once. Like it's just constant. It's so annoying. And it's not just a visual thing. It's like when it does that, it's, I can't put another block next to it until it appears officially. So if I'm going along like this. Okay, well, it's working better. But, I don't know, it's just causing me trouble. Hopefully, it gets fixed or whatever it is, I don't know. I asked other guys and they're not getting it like I am, it seems. And it's not just the rain. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I guess I just bought Beef's Castle. 1,500 emeralds! We gotta get our paper farm going here, quick. Before, before the deal expires. Okay, so I got till the end of the week to make it happen. It's doable. Then maybe maybe I could hire Beef to like work on on finishing it. <laughs> uh, that would be awesome. Okay, so I just figured it out, out of curiosity, uh, just just interested on the deal. He wants 1,500 emeralds for the castle. He's given me about one day to do that. Seems crazy, right? Impossible. But this thing here is over 100 blocks long, right? And... Each row can easily grow uh, two blocks that you can harvest. So each time you run down, when it's fully grown, is going to be about like over 200, 200 reeds or 200 paper. And I, in total, I need 28,500 paper minimum, minimum, to get 1,500 emeralds. If I do. 19 paper for one emerald trade, which is absolute lowest you can get. Uh, and 28,500 paper is about 8 double chests full, so... It's crazy, but it is actually pretty doable, I would say. <laughs> oh, yes! Yes! Ha 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 ha! Awesome! Uh, I've always wanted a castle. Who knew they would be this easy to get? So, so Beef, I know you're watching. Uh, bring the deed tomorrow. I'll bring the emeralds. We'll we'll work out our deal, and everybody's happy. No, I'm kidding. They're empty. <laughs> um, except for this one. It's about half full. I'm I'm not actually trying to get his castle. I could, I really think I could, like if I, if I knew, like he wanted to make the deal, if he knew, if I knew he wanted to make the deal and, uh, you know, I, if I could take it from him and not feel bad, uh, I definitely would, but 
Yeah, it's not right to take his castle from him. And even if I was to get it, I doubt he would he would uh, trade because <laughs> uh, he spent a lot of time building that thing. Uh, anyway, I have done one, two, three, four rows. Uh, it's taken me quite a few hours. I don't think I'm going to do any more today, but I would like to expand it some more. This is this is like. I know it seems stupid, but this is like just a fun extreme project I wanted to do. And like these pumpkins aren't really necessary. I could use torches or something else, but it's it's supposed to be extreme. Yeah. Uh But the cool thing is you can run through here. I don't know if it's good to try to get both at the same time. You could also just do this, I guess. Probably take out four rows that way and just run through the next one. But yeah, this is eight rows and uh, it's like 120 blocks long. So times that by two, you stupid pig. These animals, I, I want to kill them, but uh, this is the only island and the only animals. So if I ever want to make a pig farm or a sheep farm, this is where I have to get them from. So I've been trying to keep them alive. My goodness. But yeah, I think it would only be. I think you'd get about a thousand per harvest. So if I harvested this. Oh. What would it be? 28 times or so? I could potentially get enough to buy his castle. Why is it not all in my inventory? Yeah, I think it's better just to do one at a time. This, uh. It's kind of scattered them all over the place. Um, lightning? <laughs> Must have been lightning. How is the rain not putting that out? <laughs> what the heck? Um... Did I get disconnected or something? No. Hmm. <laughs> um. That is interesting. That must have been lightning. Yeah. Anyway, uh, if you guys are wondering where all the pumpkins came from, I did not uh, wait around for hours upon hours. Trying to get pumpkins from that dinky little... Oh. That hit right near here, too. No, don't blow it up. I didn't get it from that little dinky farm. I started... Decided it would just be better to kind of start another farm here for pumpkins. But yeah, this is weird. Um... So this is it here. All I had to do, I had that one stream that I kind of messed up. All I had to do is run across uh, with your mom, and then oh, I just saw that one strike too. Then run across again to plant all the pumpkin seeds, and then run across one more time to oh, I'm gonna die. Run across one more time to use bone meal on them, and that was it. That's all you need to get 128 or whatever it is pumpkins here. And a lot of people lately, I've been doing this more, more and more, uh, where I'll use a shovel on something that you're not supposed to use a shovel on, or, or something like that. Uh, the reason I'm doing that now, usually I'm really concerned about what tools I use, but I like that I use it on the right thing. But somebody pointed out that shovels take one diamond while axes take uh, three diamonds so really it's not that terrible of a thing because it seems like it's almost the same speed uh, if you have efficient efficiency tools this is only efficiency three so it's, it seems kind of slow uh, but yeah I think it's I think it's about the same price because using 
Using a tool on a block that you're not supposed to, it uses up two uses. Um, so, let's say two diamonds and an axe is three. But then you could argue that, well, you have to enchant it and all that, which is true, but enchanting is so easy now, I don't think it really matters too much. But yeah, this is this is a pretty good paper farm so far. Ah, got mosquito. Ah, mosquitoes are so bad this year. Hate mosquitoes. Um, yeah, that's all we're gonna do for today. I think uh, I might harvest this a few more times. I'm curious to see how much I'll get today. Hmm, there was another one apparently. I didn't see that. I guess let's go investigate it too. Doesn't look like the rain's putting it out. Actually, that's two blocks. Two fire. Oh, don't you do that. I'm all out of arrows. And one of these guys actually killed me today. I was surprised. Uh, I haven't really noticed the, the damage boost they got, though. It still seems like they're too weak. Even though I keep dying from them, <laughs> but I'm not really armored up, and they pretty much have to be right on you to kill you still. I wonder what the deal is. I'm gonna I'm gonna relog to see if that makes them disappear. Yeah, they're gone. So I guess it's uh, kind of like the reverse of what happens in the Nether sometimes. How uh, there's fire that's invisible. I guess this is fire that's visible, even though. It's not there anymore, because the rain put it out. Okay, I think I'm about ready to call it a day. I did another two harvests or so, I think, while I was editing, and, like, waiting and editing. Um, we got one double chest, two double chest, and that's about it. So, you know, you got to be more careful with your words, Beef. I, if I was an evil guy, I, I would definitely hold you to them and I would have myself a brand new castle tomorrow but don't worry I'm, I'm a nice guy you can keep your castle <laughs> I'll keep my emeralds uh, unless you want to trade I'll trade in a heartbeat uh, but anyway I think um, it's gonna do yeah let's do one more thing yet before we call it an end let's go put an ender chest in our nether in the in the nether hub okay here we go I got a stack of obsidian got some ender ender pearls blaze rods um, I'm hoping somebody else has an ender chest around too so we can try that out I don't I still don't quite understand how that works like on an SMP server like if I go into an ender chest that beef placed um, Am I accessing his stuff? Am I am I even allowed to? I don't know how that works. Um, that'd be cool if I could like put stuff. Well, how would that work? Like, uh, like it's not like I should be able to use his chest because potentially everybody on the server could share chests. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, I'm just hoping we'll find one so I can figure it out exactly. Oh, you know what? I forgot to go back. Go back. I forgot to place one here. Um, there's also this nasty rumor that people are dying going into the nether, which has me freaked out. I think Packrat died doing that. Really weird stuff. Uh, let's pick a more permanent spot for now. Um, sure, why not? Put those in, put those, eh, we might need those. Okay, and uh, let's go over to the nether hub. I think it'd be cool if everybody had an ender chest in the nether hub uh, by their rail line, because we all have a double chest, like a regular double chest. Maybe if we broke one of those and replaced... Somebody stole my mine charts. Are you kidding me? I guess we're huffing it. 
Somebody said that's not the right term, huffing it. Which surprised me. Because I thought it meant like... Oh, I forget what the what they said the proper one is. Another H word. But huffing it, like you're running so far. You, you run out of breath and you start huffing and puffing. Huffing it? No? I don't know. Someone said I wasn't right when I said that. But I will still continue to say it most likely because I don't... There it is. That's weird. Yeah, so we all have these double chests. Maybe if we were to... Nobody else has changed theirs. I kind of thought people would be doing that. Oh, I should have checked it first. <laughs> and the lily pads. I found my stinking lily pads. I've been looking everywhere for those. Didn't know what I did with them. Thought I lost them. Wow, I had a lot of stuff. Okay. Do that. How's that look? Yeah, whatever. It'll work. Cool. Yeah, I think I like that more. So nobody really puts their stuff in their doubles. Just convert them to singles. Do. <gasps> Who, whose is this? All the signs are blank. I hate that glitch too. That's new. Uh, oh, that's mine. <laughs> um, hmm. Let's go up here and see if anybody up here switched theirs. Nobody. Hmm. Okay. Um, what I might do then is go to somebody's base and see if I can find an ender chest. I really hope somebody has one down so we can just see how it works. We're going to go visit Michael. He's on the server. He says he's got one in his storage room and one in his mine shaft, so we can try his out, I guess. They're in my base right now, and I'm nearly there. Okay. He might not be around. Oh, yeah, we can put minecarts in dispensers now, too. Forgot about that. Alright, so when you go through Michael's portal, this is what you see. He's got this gravel wall in your face. Hit this. And it falls down. And this is new. <laughs> I think he's just goofing around with it. I don't think it does anything. And that makes it go back up. Uh, he said I can give you guys a quick tour, too. Um, so... It looks like, oh, this is actually what we need, a storage building. I haven't been here in a little while. The awesome cake and cookie machine of live stream Live stream -ness? More trip wires, man, he's doing... <laughs> cool. Mm. Oh, I'm full, I can't even eat them. Darn it, I'll put them back. Okay. No, I, I have to snoop. I always like to snoop when I go to people's places. I don't know why. It's like an addiction. He's got his blocks outside. That's cool. Ah, oh, they look so good. Can't wait until I have hundreds of them. And again, I don't know if I'm, like, when I get emeralds, if I'm going to use them or not. It just feels like such an exploit. Um the way it's set up. I'm hoping they change it so it's not so wreck the game type thing. Okay. Oh, okay. It accesses my stuff. I see. Makes sense. Because I was thinking, like, if, if I can access his stuff and give him stuff through that, um, he could... Like, if we were going somewhere together, we could both have our own ender chests and use them together type thing. Same thing if you have, like, dozens of people. Get a whole bunch of uh, ender chests and storage and... You know what I mean. Easy to transport stuff that way, but that's not how it works. Um, okay, shroom house. Very cool. Michael's actually pretty creative, like, with his buildings. Uh, bedroom. 
It's got a really unique place here. It's got like a tree house here. Haven't been up here before. I think this is new as well. Nice view. It's a nice area too. We got the mountains. And then he also has his lighthouse up there, which actually works. It has a day night sensor built in. So, actually, I've never been here. Sheep farm. Oh, it's one of these styles. They're all in a line. Very, very efficient type of sheep farm. Uh oh. <laughs> I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Sorry, Michael. And. Sheep farm. Let's go check out the lighthouse real quick and we will call it an episode. What is that? I have to check that. I don't know what that is. I want to press it, but I don't know what it does. And this building, it feels like... Uh, like something you would stand in to hide from a giant explosion so maybe I shouldn't throw that lever <laughs> um, just in case that's what it actually is I doubt it is though yeah he's got a day night sensor built into his lighthouse and then lava comes down it almost looks bigger than I remember it even the the glass part and he's got I open this up he's got red st redstone torches going up that's how he changes it. So the sensor is down here somewhere. This is probably it. That looks like it. Mm hmm. Goes up. Spiral. This building is pretty empty. I think you should do a little bit more with it yet, like fill in the space, but it's it's a pretty cool lighthouse. Just the way it is too. I think this is one of the first things he built, actually. But he's been on the server much longer than me, so I could be wrong. Don't know what those do. Signs aren't working. I think this says on or off, the sign. Depending on what the light is. And it's got an up arrow and a down arrow. So it's not... Oh, this is the wire room. I'm guessing it's not on right now because... Uh, it's raining and that's messing things up. Or no, it's actually it's actually daytime. That's right. But lava would fall down during the night and yeah. So anyway, I'm gonna get going, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I will see you again next time.